Okay, um, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to sketch the first derivative and the second der derivative given um, a function. Okay, so before we do that, we need to know the relationship between the first derivative and the original function and the second derivative with my first derivative. The first derivative tells me the slope of my f of x. Whereas my second derivative tells me the slope of um, my first derivative. Okay? Alright, so um, let's start by drawing or sketching the first derivative. This is my first derivative graph. And we are going to focus on the slope to make the sketch of my first derivative. There are two points here on this graph that has that have a special point, the special slope. And I hope you guys saw these two points. One of them is here, another one is there. Why? Because at those points, my slope is equal to zero. All right, so uh, now we're going to sketch the graph of the first derivative. Over here, I'm going to have a zero because that's what the first derivative is. Uh, here, the slope is zero, which means my the sketch of my first derivative should also have a zero there. Okay, at this point, if you're not sure why, I put down those two points. Please review on your um, derivatives, the concepts of what does the first derivative mean. So the first derivative is just this gives us the information of the slope of my original function. Alright, so now these are my zeros of my first derivative. Now let's look at um, if my original function is increasing or decreasing. So over here, this is increasing, which means they will always have a positive slope they always have a positive slope. So what I'm, going, what I'm going to do is, since I'm not sure exactly what the slope is, but I know for sure it's always going to be positive, so I'm just going to randomly put down a value. As long as it is positive. Right? Because the slope here is always positive. Okay. Now, so this, before the maximum point, everything is positive, so I put a point there. Until the maximum point, where my slope is zero, passing the maximum point, everything is decreasing, which means the slope is always going to be negative. Right? So between the maximum and minimum, between these two points, you know, in other words, between these two points, my slope is always negative, which means I'm going to randomly put down somewhere here. If you don't like that, you can change it to somewhere else. I'm going to put it somewhere here. Okay? Now, why did I put my first derivative? So, so it looks as if it is somewhere in the middle. Right? Because if you think about it, later on when we make, this, make the sketch, it is, looks as if it's going to make sort of like a parabola ish. Right? So um, it sort of helps to kind of look at the big picture first and you will know that will give you a better idea of where to put your points. Okay? But if you don't like if you don't like again if you don't like this point you can change it to somewhere here. But make sure it is negative. Right? Make sure it is negative. Alright, so, so everything is positive before the maximum point. Between the maximum and minimum, between these two points, everything is negative. So the slope is always going to be negative. Passing through the minimum, it, it is always going to increase. So again, it is going to be positive. Why did I put it there? Because I like it. If you don't like that, if you, if you don't like that point being there, you can put it here, you can put it there, as long as it is positive. But again, 
keep in mind that we are going to connect the points so it should be somewhere that is going to make your life easier in terms of making that graph okay so as you can see um, I'm sort of going to have this parabola okay that is my f prime x that's it okay so my f prime is going to have sort of like a parabola let me make that from here again this is a sketch okay a sketch meaning as long as you have the key features you're good not graph graph you have to keep the details but when we talk about sketch keep them the key features okay now my f prime sketch of my f prime is done now let's do my the sketch of my f double prime my second derivative my second derivative is tells me the slope of my first derivative so now I'm going to look at my first derivative graph the one I just plot and I'm going to look at the slope of this first derivative sketch I hope you guys see a special point again there's a special point here that has a very special slope which is here right. the point over this uh, the slope at this point again is flat so at that point at that point my slope is going to be zero why because I'm showing you guys how to do this exercise so I'm writing this stuff down when you guys are working on a question like this try to keep this kind of stuff in mind or you can write it down light, light, lightly and then erase it later but try to do this in your head so my second derivative should have a zero somewhere here be careful with this just now I was the one who decided to put this point there and I believe if, if you rewind the video I actually, the, I actually put the point a bit down there it's okay it doesn't matter but the thing is we need to make sure that um, this zero happens on the same x coordinate as that turning point please be careful with that so we need to be careful with the vertical alignments of the point All right? or if you look at my first derivative graph and the original f of x you see that they are also vertically aligned see that? they are vertically so here I have the maximum point which means my slope is zero so I need to go straight down that's where my zero is here I have a minimum point uh, which, which means my slope is zero I have to go straight up that's my zero right there so make sure you are always vertically aligned okay I'm going to remove that so over here uh, this is the graph of my first derivative at this minimum point I have a slope of zero again which, is, which tells me that I should have a zero for my second derivative which I'm using blue now okay on this side my graph is always decreasing decreasing it is always negative so I'm going to have what do you think I'm going to put I'm going to put my point on the left hand side is it going to be somewhere here or is it going to be somewhere there I hope your answer is here oh sorry sorry about the color I'm going to have somewhere here doesn't have to be there you, you could put the point anywhere but it has to be on the negative side okay now passing through this point everything is increasing increasing positive slope so I'm gonna have somewhere there and then the last step is just to connect them through the points and this is my second derivative okay so now let's take a look here let's take a look um, this point what does this tell you about your f of x this is your point of inflection so if you look at your second derivative graph the blue color line everything before that is always negative 
which means in terms of concavity, it should concave down. So everything on this side should concave down. And everything on that side should concave up. Okay? And that's where the point of inflection is. Okay, so let's look at my alpha bags. My alpha bag is concave down, right? This is concave down, and somewhere here, it's concave down, concave down, concave down, until somewhere there, to there. Starting from that point, it is going to concave up, concave up, concave up, which matches our second derivative graph. Um, and that's it. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys another example that is a bit harder. So, please make sure you're comfortable with this question before you move on. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.